my channel. Today I have a little show and tell type of video. I ordered Valentino color acrylic powders to see the formula that they have because I see that they're very, very popular and I've been dying to try some type of Valentino product, right? Okay, so I did order three colors that I really needed and um, I don't know if this goes well, I'm gonna have to order more, so let's see how that goes. People have been raving about Valentino so much, even clients that don't know much about the brands. So I was like, oh, okay, they like it. That must mean they're good, right? So let's open this. It's only three powders because I wanted to test it out. Um, I did notice they were small. So that's why I was like, mm, I don't know. I think they were like, to be honest, I don't even remember how much I paid. Hopefully all that information is in here. But yeah, I took off three nails just so that we can test it out on my nails. Okay, so let me take the paper out first so I can see the cost. Mm, it doesn't have a price for some reason at all. That's weird. That's, that's my information on the top, but this is all that it says. That is really weird. Yeah, there's no information with how much it cost. So, I don't know. So, I think it was like, I want to say they were like $8 for three of them. I don't know. What the hell? That is so weird. Like, it's a receipt. Shouldn't it say the price? I don't know. Okay, whatever. Um, But anyway, you do see that I got... The number 103, that's the lilac one. Uh, 111 is Wicked, which is the neon yellow. And then I got Blonde Affair, which is number 116. And that is a sunflower yellow. Fall is coming, so I really wanted to get that. Okay, so, yeah, there's no other paper in there. Take these out. Okay, so they're a little dusty. Ew, one of them is kind of open, so that's not good. Look at that. I don't like that at all. First impression, I don't like the fact that um, kind of seem careless how they were packaged. I don't like that at all. Okay, but whatever. We'll see how they work. This looks pretty white. I really hope that it's darker. It looks white and it's supposed to be the lilac. The neon, the sunflower, and the lilac. Okay, yeah, it looks really white. I don't know. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and um, which I'm call it. Put the tips on my nails, and then I'm going to. Okay, let's start again. And it's different for me to, um, actually, it would have been better to actually do my other hand because I want to know how it actually feels with the, my dominant hand. But even with my left, I can already tell that the acrylic feels really nice. Oh my gosh, this is becoming a mess. I should have done my other hand. Oh 
Let me let gravity help me out here. That didn't work too well. As far as the color goes, I'm actually pretty happy. It's pretty. Okay, that was too wet. Oh my gosh, I went to go look because I heard a noise and I looked away and I bumped it. Oh no. No, no, no. We'll just add a little bit more because I'm over here messing with it too much. It's okay, we'll file it and it'll look nice. <laughs> as far as the other ones go, um, we're gonna open those next, but I did like the purple. And sadly, it's not showing up properly on camera, but it is a nice purple. Maybe you guys can see it somewhat. Okay, so I'm gonna add some clear after, but for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the brush. So, I'm gonna add. We're going to do the 111 Wicked. Okay. Which one's this? Okay, it's different. Okay. I think this one will do an ombre. So, maybe it'll help if I put it in my hand right here. I don't know. I'll see. Let's try that then. So I'll grab the color and it's very nice. I'm gonna remove some liquid and then we'll let's see. Ooh, this looks a lot better than oh, it looks a lot better than the one I have. Yeah, the consistency is so different than what I'm used to. I feel like I gotta do that beat again. Oh no, I broke it. <laughs> it's fine. So we'll work on top of it. Okay. I made a mess. I made a mess. 
Yes, get out, get out. This is like a true neon yellow. I'm gonna compare it to the other one in a minute because I don't know when I used to use the other, the other one is by Glam and Glitz. It's also like a neon yellow and it's called Bright Lights. But to be honest, it is not very neony. It looks neony, but I don't know why. Let's see, let's see. So this is the one from Glam and Glitz, and this is Valentino. So if you can see, I don't know what the heck. They're just so different to me. They don't look the same at all. Okay, so. I mean, but okay, so this one is how many ounces? One ounce. And I think, I don't know how many ounces these are. Or I don't even think it says. I, I want to say that it's like half an ounce, but then I don't want to be wrong. So I'll look it up and then I'll let you guys know. Okay, so my, I'm so all over the place today. I got. Look at this, I got it on my purple. Ew. Oh, well, it's okay. And I don't think I'm gonna, I don't know. I was gonna say, I don't think I'm gonna um, encapsulate them, but I kind of have to. Because the color acrylic is not as sturdy. So with this, we're just going to use to do an ombre. And I don't know why I'm doing an ombre when this is so hard to do on this hand already. So what is wrong with me? I don't know. I think this is the ugliest nails I've done in my whole life, and <laughs> it's on myself. It's really hard right now, I don't know why. And it's not the acrylic, the acrylic is pretty fine, but I don't know. What the heck is wrong with me today? <laughs> okay, so the other one that I'm gonna try is the 117 i think let me see no 116 116 and it's does it have a name on it it's just let me see. they call it super powder well wow. anyway um i don't know it's just the number 117 i thought they had an oh sorry yeah they do have a name it's called blonde affair okay so let's try Blonde Fair, 116. Okay. That's the 
the one that got messy. So what I'm gonna do is remove that. I'm not liking that at all. Okay. All right, guys, so let's do the last one. And I'm just going to do this. That was weird. Why is all the sunflower yellow so chalky? It's so weird. I have a Mia Secret one and it's super chalky. Look at that. It's just like the other one. Do I have to pick up more liquid for this? Look. I mean, why? Look at that. It doesn't all the way. I don't know. That's weird. Look. That's horrible. Okay, let me just pick up a little bit then. Okay. I think that's probably the only color, and I think it's just because it's that certain color, because my Mia Secret one does the same exact thing, except this one doesn't have um those little, I don't know what they call it, there's like little balls that are thicker than the rest of this color. So I can't really complain about it because I know that the other one does it too. But I don't like that. I think I'm gonna have to mix this one with some clear. Horrible. But all in all, it's a really nice color. This is hard to maneuver. Oh shoot, what did I do? Okay, this one has some lint in it that I came with. That's not good. That was horrible. It does harden pretty quick though, because look at that. It just went to that side and now it's already hardened. So that sucks. Not really, but I mean, that's good for advanced people, but right now it just sucks because it's hard for me to maneuver. <laughs> Being right-handed and all. But it's okay. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Right there. And that's it. I mean, it needs way more at the edge. See, it hardens pretty quickly. I don't hate the product though. It's just the fact that I'm using my left hand and I'm not very good at that. Um, that's literally the only problem. 
And this one is obviously chalky, but like I said, so was the Mia Seeker one when it came to the Sunflower Yellow. So I can't really go off that one. The other ones didn't do it. The other ones were pretty nice and creamy. Is it closed good or that way it was spilling because it didn't close well or what? Okay. All right, so that's those three. And I'm just gonna go ahead and file them. I'm not gonna encapsulate them because I'm gonna remove the, the nails because I'm probably gonna do a new set. And yeah, so that's how they look right now. I was testing the consistency really and I was testing the color pigments and I'm really happy with the lilac. I really needed that color and I'm so glad that I have it now. So I'm gonna go ahead and just fill. The struggle is real when you have to do your other non-dominant hand or your dominant hand with your non-dominant hand. The struggle is real. I wish somebody come, came and did my nails. That would be nice. And I'm gonna go watch the movie Hustlers in like an hour. So I'm gonna be looking like this. <laughs> it's okay. All for the sake of YouTube. And I'm not gonna use my drill for this to finish file. I'm just gonna go around the cuticle area with this hand file. If you don't have a drill, you could always do that. That's how they used to do it back in the day. That's what I was told. <laughs> By the time I became a tech, you have you everybody usually had a drill has a drill. So back then there was no drills. And I think if they did have them, had them, they were expensive.
So I can't wait to actually use these on clients. There, there you will be able to tell, and I will be able to tell like their, I'll be able to tell their full potential. But to be honest, if you want my opinion, um, horrible application on the side when it comes to me, it wasn't Valentino, but it's, I think it's me because obviously I'm working with my left hand on my right, which I, like I said, I'm right-handed, so this is difficult for me to do. Um, I'm, I'll probably get better, but as far as Valentino's product themselves, these products are really good. I do highly suggest you do get them. They're not bad for the price and for the quality of the product. Um, like I said, this one was a little chalky only because the color itself is chalky. I have the same problem with the same exact color with a different, with um, other, um, other acrylic brands such as a Secret. So, and as far as this, this was amazing, amazing. And the color is beautiful. And the good thing, even though it's kind of hard to work with, you can add clear acrylic, to, not too much, but enough for the consistency to be easier to spread. But the good thing about it is unlike um, unlike being a secret, it doesn't clump up and leave you with like extra bold little beads that just stay there and they're really hard to deteriorate. You will see like a clump here, a clump there. And th this one didn't have that. So honestly, these, the, these products from Valentino, I do highly suggest. So I'm really happy with them. And will I be purchasing more? Yes, I loved it. I loved it a lot and the price like I said I thought it was too pricey when I was like eh that's too much there's not even that much in here but there actually is I thought that they were like the size of the Mia Secret ones which I'll show you one let's see this is the size of the Mia Secret ones um they have paper on the bottom anyway this one says one fourth of an ounce okay so I believe this is probably like half an ounce and these, if you buy them separate, they're seven dollars on eBay. These are about eight something. I think they're usually like nine ninety nine or something. But obviously, this is the better buy. So yeah. So yeah, go ahead and go purchase them on Valentino. Actually, you do not need a license from what I saw because when I ordered it, I didn't use my license. They didn't ask for it. So yeah. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, please let me know. Comment down below. And don't forget to hit that like button. So yeah, comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget. And yeah, love you guys. Thank you so much for watching once again. Bye.